Hello everyone, welcome to the 35th tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to wrap it. So, in this video, we will be doing walkthroughs, or rather, I'll be teaching you how to make a very awesome presentation for your Revit model. This is an example of what can do. Now, apparently, we're only using a hidden line type of visual, so it will be a little bit bland. But within this tutorial, we will be doing realistic or maybe even consistent colors so that it will be even more amazing. Now, let's get started. Let's try and go back to our plan view, which is right here. Let me close this one since this was my sample for you guys. Okay, now going back here in the default 3D view, click the drop down arrow and it's this one. Okay, kind of like a camera, simply click on the ground like so. And you'll notice it has the same field of view or rather the cone vision that the camera has. So simply just click anywhere you want. I will be clicking here like this. And here, here, covering the outer boundary of my house like this, making a full circle. I think this should be enough. Also, like the camera, you can play around with the offset here to increase the, side, the height elevation. Now, I'm going to finish my walk like this. Okay. Notice how the cone or field of vision is pointing directly like this here. We can control that easily by going back to edit walkthrough. Here is our frame and it's this camera right here. Notice this point here, just simply drag it like this and point it towards your house or the model. I will be pointing it towards here. All right, now. Again, let's tie this part here. there this is our keyframe here the red that spot so let's try to put it at the beginning like this or you can edit here and just enter one like so now if i were to click here and drag it like this you will notice how it's on the camera is only pointing in one direction but if I stop here and go to the second last point, it will move like this. Why? Because we already set it up earlier, right? And if I were to move it again here, it will aim towards the model. But if I were to go back like this, it's going back to the original spot that it has because this was a default camera. So let's go ahead and fix that. I will click here again like this. And there we go. Now, click this part here. I can't click it. What's going on? There we go. And drag it here. Now, let's fix the other keyframe here. Drag this part here again. And keep doing this on the other side. Of course, the more keyframes that you did, the more of them you have to modify one by one like this. And here, simply do it like that. Now for these two parts, I won't touch them so that we can see how it's going to look like once we do a play around with it. So let's put it back here in the beginning. There. It's not working. Got to click like this. There we go. Okay. Now, where's the edit walk crew? Got to go back here. Zoom out like this. Let's do a window tile here so we can see things much more clearly. There. All right, so we've got the ground floor plan here, the 3D view here, and here's our walkthrough presentation. But that's not what we're using. Go back here and equal to the camera it will also come here in the 3D view, sorry, here in walkthrough. And we've been using walkthrough number two, like so. Now I'm going to do a window tile again once more. There we go. Now this is the one we did. 
click the graph boundary border, edit walkthrough, and click play. There it is. So this is the one that we actually made. Now we can actually, you don't need to actually go to window tile to do this. I simply did this just so we can see what's going to happen in our ground floor and 3D as well. And notice this part is the untouched camera keyframe that we did. Like so. Amazing, isn't it? Now, let's do it again with a proper visual line like this. There. Now, better if we do realistic. And let's try it again once more. Now, unfortunately, since we're using realistic or maybe even consistent color, it will be much, much slower. But at least from here, we can see some improvement. All right, so that's it for this video. If you find this tutorial interesting or maybe even helpful at all, you can support me by liking and subscribing. I will be seeing you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.